what's up everybody this is Matt from Rocky's War Room and today I have for you something for my English Civil War the Pike and Shot Ordnance Battery by Warlord Games uh, you get three artillery pieces with resin scenic bases and 13 crewmen that's pretty unbelievable um, that you get this much money this much stuff with these cannons and I went this route because uh, if you just buy the cannons by themselves all you get is the cannon and the crewmen this comes with these resin gabions and the resin bases uh, this is a one Saker cannon with three crew, one Demi Culverin with three crew, a mortar with four crew, and a master gunner, sentinel, and master engineer. And you get the five, of course, the five resin scenic bases and Gabion defenses. Uh, it's a pretty neat kit. Um, the artwork and the way they painted it is pretty awesome. Yeah, mine's going to be painted pretty similar to this. Uh, of course, there's the uh, the sentinel and the master engineer. The master gunner, I uh, where's he at? Oh, he's right here, I believe. He's sitting there, eyeballing everything out. So it's a pretty cool addition. I'm gonna show you guys what's inside of this sucker, um, and it's pretty nice. Uh, really awesome kit. Get rid of that. These are the resin bases. Now this is a great idea and they're gorgeous. Uh, they're very well done. Um, as you can see, the one in the middle, as I open these, the one in the middle is for the mortar and the two uh, resin ones on the outsides is for the culvern and the sacred cannon. Now, they're both very different. So as you can see, you got the, the uh, Cannonballs, there's a little bit of flash on there. Uh, the mortar balls here. You got little implements that belong to the mortar. Uh, you got little fencing. It's in different lengths than, you know, the fencing of each other. So they're all different, you know, but, but complete. They got the buckets. They're in different spots. The balls are in different spots. The gunpowder. Uh, and there they are. Wood planks. They're absolutely gorgeous. And this is the reason why I bought the uh, ordnance battery over just buying the individual individual cannons because they come with these beautiful resin bases and I don't have to figure bases out at all. So just getting a piece of flash off here. Uh, so uh, I wanted cannons <laughs> and here they are. Let's see if I can get this off here too. A few pieces of flash. Now, since they're resin, you're going to want to clean them up. You're going to wash them with some soap and water um, and things like that just to Make sure that the paint's going to stick. I should clean this up while I'm doing the video. So, and then you get the two gabions, which are going to sit in front of these two big cannons. Right here. Base fits in there nicely on this one, I believe. Let's see. It's supposed to fit around the base. Uh, it sort of fits around the base. I can cut that to fit. That's no big deal. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's just, they just barely miss being able to fit exactly, but I don't think a little gap is really going to matter that much. I'll probably shave a little bit off of these bases here or this here just to make sure they fit. So, uh, let's see. So I'm going to put those together like that. And then of course we have our mortar, which is Got the bottom of the mortar, as you can see, which is beautifully, beautifully done. The detail on these are awesome. Really impressed with this. And there you have it. That's the three bases for the cannons. That's incredible. Um, we're going to obviously wash these with some uh, soap and water before we do anything with them. Before we start painting them or doing any weathering. And of course, I'm not going to uh, glue them to the base until I have these assembled and painted, of course. So, let's start taking the stuff out here. I'm assuming that this is the Saker Cannon with its wheels. So just set that there. Uh, all right. And if you want to know which ones belong to which, you can actually look at the box art, which... Uh, I have handy right here. So let's see if this guy belongs with the Saker Cannon. Looks like he's wheeling a barrel up. 
So he's going to go with the big bad boy. So he's going to go with that one. And we have this fella here. This, I believe, is our Sentinel. So we're going to put him off to the side. Take these guys out. Get rid of that. Okay. So we have this fella. He belongs with our big gun. This here. Oh. Looks like we have an arm that goes with somebody here. Oh. That would be the Master Gunner. Yes. There's his arm. Okay. No, this is his arm. He's got the one with the distance. Anyway, sits on the weapon, as you can see. So these guys will be separate. They're not going to get glued with the cannons or on the bases with the cannons. Oh, here we go. So this is this gentleman's arm, I think. Let's see. Well, is he holding something in his hand there? I can't tell. I believe this is his arm right here. Doesn't look like it's fitting very well, but that's okay. We'll, we'll figure it out. We just got to lay these out. These are going to right here are going to go with the Demi Culvern. And uh, I'm going to put the Master Gunner with those guys. That's, he's going to be uh, glued. They're going to be glued on separate bases. So, so we're going to set this aside. That's the uh, Demi Culvern. We got this here. Got the wheels for the Demi Culvern here. What's this here? Oh, we got some straps. Got an extra cannonball from the looks of it. Yeah. Awesome. So this one, this one belongs with this cannon, that guy. This sucker. Oh, man. No, this might be the Sentinel. Yeah, I think so. We'll see. No, he goes. Okay, I see on the. I see in the box art. He goes with this right here. Here's our mortar right here. Okay, so we're gonna set that over there. We got this fella here holding the cannonball. He's got a crate. He's gonna go here three-man crew here all right we have this fella he's going with the mortar he's got the mortar I believe the rest of them are uh, with the mortar right here yep just gotta level that out all right so that's a mortar and the last but not least, this fella here, he's going to go with the mortar crew. So, bend these. Powder man. Okay, so this is definitely his arm because I don't see anybody else that needs an arm and that's definitely his arm. So we got that worked out. Excellent. Excellent. Now, I'm debating on whether or not to put these on individual bases. Um, that way I can move them around the uh, cannon itself or remove one guy if I have to from my other games. So I think I am going to do that. And in order to do that, I'm going to have to... to uh, the kit comes with no bases um, so, uh, for, the, for the guys. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to steal some single 20 by 20 mil bases from uh, my regiment kits. Because uh, there's a couple of regiment kits that, or every one of them, come with these 40 by 40s. And then they have these four single ones by themselves. Well, my command's going on a 40 by 40. So, because they're going on a 40 by 40, um, I can t take these four bases here that are single bases, 20 by 20 single bases, and steal them and use them for these fellas here. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. So, uh, 
I'm going to go gather some bases for this. Um, for these guys, the individual guys. I think there's one or two. Well, no, that'll fit on there just fine. Yeah, that'll fit on there just fine. He's got a chest. No problem. Um, I'm going to go find some bases. I'm going to cut them out. And uh, I'll show you the guys the tools I'm going to use to put this all together. And uh, let's get to it. I'll be right back with the finished product.
All right, so there you have it. That's the assembled kit uh, for the ordnance battery uh, for pike and shot. Um, here we have your Saker cannon, your Demi Culvern, which is the big bad boy. Um, and we have our mortar, uh, of course, over here. Now, um, <clears throat> here is the Sentinel and the Engineer, which uh, are very nice sculpts. I really like the looks of them. Came with the kit. Okay. Uh, we have our uh, Marksman. Now, I put them a little offset on the base like this. It's a little awkward, but this way, at least he'll be able to fit underneath the cannon as if he is aiming. So, uh, <clears throat> so the characters, I put them on the bases. This is what it's going to look like. Uh, obviously, it's going to look like before it's painted, but uh, in the orientation uh, when they're finished and I glue and everything's painted and I glue them onto the bases and stuff like that. It wasn't a hard kit to build. Uh, a lot of these are one piece. We just have this guy had an arm. And where's he at? There's another fellow who I had to put an arm on to. And I lost him. <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh, right here. Right here. So, <clears throat> it wasn't, like I said, it wasn't a very hard kit. It's a beautiful looking kit. Even unpainted, it looks great. I'm really excited to paint this and add this to my uh, ECW. I have two of these. One for each side. Um... Royalists and Parliamentarians. Um, I'm looking to get um, some uh, 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 Scots and some other cannons and things like that, a light cannon and stuff like that um, for gameplay. I think it'll be a lot of fun, and it's a good addition, and they look beautiful. Um, just these resin bases, I'm just really excited to get them painted and put some tufts on them and uh, see what it looks like on the table. Lots of nice-looking figures, nice sculpts. Um, I really like this kit. Uh, if you're planning on playing uh, English Civil War, um, I'd really highly recommend um, getting the ordnance battery over buying the individual cannons. So, unless you're looking for a light cannon or something like that, but uh, I would highly, highly recommend it doing this way. Um, it's seventy-two dollars, but it's all resin. You get resin bases that are beautiful. Um, uh, Seventy dollars, seventy-two dollars US. Uh, I can't highly recommend it enough. It was an easy build, but um, that's it. That's all I got for you guys. Um, I'll be adding this to my crew, and I'll I'll do updates as I paint it. Um, it's not next on the chopping block as far as being uh, getting painted, um, uh, but I will get to them. It seems like I can maybe just, in between regiments or something like that, just paint one at a time and then do another regiment and then paint another one and do another regiment and paint another one. Uh, but for the most part... Um, I'm very happy with these kits. Uh, I really like them. I think lots of detail on these resin bases and the cannons and the guys here. And there's lots of action and poses and things like that, um, that, uh, really bring the whole thing together. I think it's, I think it's really awesome. So, but if you haven't subscribed, please do, please tell a friend, please spread the word. I'd really appreciate it. Leave a, leave a comment like this video. And last but not least from me to you, ta-ta. And we'll catch you in the next video.